you know, I got a chance to actually uh, see the interview, which, by the way, it's a great interview. So if anybody sees this interview and have not seen that interview, make sure you watch it because, um, I mean, from, for someone that's been interviewing Floyd for a very, very long time, that interview really, really impressed me. Like, that, that, that was really good. Um, but having, having kind of said that, um, what is it that got you into the fight game? Like, 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 what is it that made you gravitate towards boxing? I mean, I heard you rattle off some, you know, some legendary names in there, Pennell Whitaker, some other names. I mean, you're very, very knowledgeable in the sport of boxing. What, what was it that got you into it? Man, the 70s, man. I grew up in the 70s. I was born in 71, so you got to imagine all of the great fights that I've seen on ABC, Worldwide, mm -hmm. Wide well, Wide World of Sports, and mm -hmm. all of the... Um, Great fights that was on on TV and select TV. And well, you hold on, hold on. You just went old school with on TV. Yeah. These people don't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the first cable. Uh huh. You know, if you had money, you had it. But you know, I didn't have money. Mm. But certain people in our neighborhood or my cousins, they may have had it, and we was able to go to their house when it was a big fight. Whether it was Muhammad Ali, Leon Spink, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns, Aaron Pryor, Roberto Duran. Mm. I mean, it was some bad, Mark Breeland, it was some bad boys, you know what I'm saying, that mm. was slanging them things back in the days that was very, you know, attractive to my eyes. Like, mm. that sport was one of the top five sports in the world mm. when I was a kid, boxing. That was a way out. We dreamed of being a great boxer or athlete that could do things like boxers or people in that world could do, because it was fun, it was fascinating to us. Boxers, it became icons of where they could become actors and analysts and movie stars and promoters of ads and you know Sugar Ray Leonard was doing 7-Up and all kind of shit they was popping mm. uh, Muhammad Ali was doing commercials for Decon and you know what I'm saying it was like mm. it was all kind of endorsements and shit that was happening that made it appealing to the young black American that was watching this shit as a kid growing up mm. what was it that was able to keep you in the sport because I know a lot of people that used to watch boxing back in the 70s or even the 80s that came up through the Mike Tyson era and whatnot a lot of those guys are like yeah I don't even watch boxing anymore you know but but you do yeah. so so what was it I mean are, are there certain guys I mean obviously I know you, you know you watch Floyd you're a fan of his and everything but it, I mean do you watch I, I a lot love, of other I ones love, I love Triple G I love Andre Ward I liked the way he came back and got his bounce back because the first fight I didn't really think he won, but the second one, mm. he did that. Mm. He re he came back and did that. I love, um, who else do I like? I like, uh, what's that little Russian kid name? He mm, undefeated. Lomachenko. Yeah, he bad as a motherfucker. I'm mm -hmm. like, he hard. Yeah, he just fought. He hard. I mm -hmm. like him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's some bad motherfuckers that are still getting it in that's, you know, doing And I like the big one, Bronze Bomber. Mm. Yeah, uh, Deontay. Deontay. I like yeah. cuz. I think he should squad with the fool from London, Anthony Joshua. who just hit, who just hit Clutch going to yeah. retirement. Mm. I think that'd be a brilliant fight to get an American champ versus a fucking London champ, mm -hmm. and let them motherfuckers square off and go, cause them is some heavy hitters. They the same weight class, right? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that should happen. That's the big fight everyone wants to see.